I'm Katie Meyer and I'm with Montana Hosa and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the event of job seeking skills. So job seeking skills um, obviously is a solo person event. It's in our leadership category. Um, our leadership and teamwork events all happen on the same day. So you can only pick one um, event to compete on in in either leadership or teamwork um, to, to fulfill that um, day. Uh, so I love this event. It's, it's an event I tell my kids, if you don't know what you want to do for your soft skill type event, your leadership teamwork event, um, this is useful for anyone. Um, it's, it's useful for getting out of your comfort zone. If you're somebody that normally doesn't like to present and you don't want to do a presentation type event uh, for your soft skill, because um, you're still presenting, but you're practicing your interview skills, which is really great for any of us to kind of work through our nerves and get out of our comfort zone. Um, as we do this, um, you're going to create a resume, you're going to create a personal statement. Uh, these are all things that as you're going to the healthcare profession is going to be useful to you. Um, so you're creating something that you can use not only at the state conference, but as you you move on through HOSA, um, enter careers, um, interview for PA schools and PT schools and all the thing, cool things that you guys are going to go into um, in the future. So this is a fun event for just kind of life prep. Um, so for this event, just kind of be aware of it's changed a lot over the years. So make sure that you're following the current guidelines um, for whatever year that we're in. Um, those are always in our short sheet guidelines on our website, and they'll tell you exactly what you need, need um, to submit, when to submit by, um, what to expect at state, as well as how the scoring is going to work. So in Montana HOSA, we do not use tallow for any of our events because um, it kind of doesn't meet our school privacy laws. So because of that, um, you will not submit via tallow and you do not need to make a tallow page for Montana HOSA. Um, that being said, you will also not need to do the digital portfolio component, nor will you be scored on that at the state conference for Montana. Um, however, if you are going to go to the international leadership event in this event, um, the only way that they can score you fairly for all those is that you are going to need to create a tallow um, account and do that digital portfolio if you're going to the international competition. Again, it won't be scored at state. So for Montana, there's two pieces that you're going to submit ahead of time. Um, by that early submission deadline, and that's your resume and your personal statement. Um, so your resume is limited to one page. So you might have already written a resume for another class already. It might be a little bit too long. How are you going to cut that down to a one page resume? Um, a reminder, as you look at those guidelines, these resumes need to be factual and accurate um, to what you currently have for a job that you could currently apply to. So when you're interviewing and applying to a job um, at this competition, it needs to be something that you actually could apply to. So you could be applying maybe for um, a clerical position, um, an aid type position, EMT, CNA, MA, that you have that training for, um, as opposed to your dream job of you know, NICU nurse or uh, orthopedic surgeon, you're not there yet. Um, what could you interview for now with your current skill set? And your resume should reflect your current skill set. Um, so sometimes I have students say, well, I don't know what to put in my resume for that because I don't have current um, healthcare experience. Um, any of your work experience, any of your leadership experience is is relevant. You know, we we often overlook you know the interpersonal skills that that you might get from being on a sports team, serving as a captain, um, showing up to work, working under a manager, um, the customer service skills that you might have gained as a barista or in these other jobs. You know, are going to translate over to good customer service and interpersonal skills of being a good teammate and the the clinical workforce um so don't don't discount those things go ahead and include that in that one page resume and then you're going to create a personal statement um this is something that a lot of you will be doing in your futures as you apply um you know to med schools and pa schools and different programs like that uh the short sheet rubric has links that give you information on what is a personal statement what gets included on that um, so definitely check out those resources and links on that and then those two things will be submitted by that early deadline, not on tallow, but to Montana HOSA. Um, we'll have information about how to submit those um, coming out soon. And they need to be submitted as a single um, PDF document. Um, if we need to make cuts on the number of students who enter this event, we will do that then um, based on the scores of those two components. And again, you can see how they're going to score you and what they're going to look at on those rubrics. Always, always, always look at those rubrics. 
And then at state, those who move on, um, and it will fit as many students as we can to move on to the in-person event at state, you will then interview for five minutes for that position that you're applying for. So definitely do research on what that, um, you know, job looks like and what the expectations are. Uh, look at that rubric. Um, what types of things do you want to make sure that as you're answering those questions, what do you want to talk about? What do you need to touch on to get those points? Um, please note that the interview questions um, are similar to each person and it's considered a secret topic. So whenever you get a secret topic in HOSA, um, it needs to remain a secret so the other competitors um, can't get an edge by knowing that secret topic um, and you would be uh, in trouble at disqualification um, potential if you were to release that secret topic to other competitors. Um, so please keep that in mind. Uh, this is a really fun event. Reach out if you have any questions on job seeking skills.